Hello everyone, welcome to Omar Jyoti's Crochet World. Today I am here once again with my new tutorial. Today I am going to make a very interesting project. I am going to make the flame of the candle. This is a flame that I have made using acrylic yarn. So I will show you how to make this beautiful and lovely and colorful flame. So for making this flame, I am using some colors I will show you. I am taking yarn, this is the acrylic yarn I am taking, this is the red color yarn and this is the orange color. So I am just showing you what are the colors that I am using, yellow color and this one is dark blue, it is a royal blue, this one is a light blue and some white yarn, right? So basically these six colors I am using red, orange, yellow, dark blue, light blue and white. So we are going to take these strands. Show you. Okay. Okay. First of all, uh, just we need a scissors and nothing else. <clears throat> Measure your yarn about 10 to 12 inches and then you have to take strands of 10 to 12 inches uh, 5 strands of each color right 4 and 5 make 5 strands of each color right this is red color now take orange color 1 2 3, 4 and 5, right? Take 5, 5 strands by measuring collectively and then yellow color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 strands <clears throat> of each color. Now dark blue. 1. Hold them collectively. 2. 3. 4. 5. If you uh, hold them collectively, they will uh, create a multicolor effect. Now light blue color. 1. 2. 3, 4, 5. Now last one, the white color. It gives the brightness to your flame. 2, 3, 4 and last one, 5. <coughs> Take one about 10 inches strand separately. This is for tying up your flame. Just 10 inch of flame. Now hold this all the multicolors together. Fold in half. Take the loose end, the loose strand that I told you. Fold that in half also and pass it through it. That means we are tying a knot with this. Just tying it tightly. Like this. Just to tie it up. Here I am tying a tight knot near the edge so that it get, don't get open. That's it. Now from the top make it uniform. That means each uh, strand is open not connected to each other. Make sure there are no doubles or folded uh, ends anywhere. <clears throat> 
and that's it so now each one is separate right now you need one brush i'll show you this is a pet slicker brush this is a smaller one you can take the bigger one this is a pet slicker brush you you can slick your pet you can uh, uh, with this very tiny wires this is optional the other option for uh, uh, this brush is the normal brush that you use for your hair you can take that but i am doing this i am brushing these yarn with my pet slicker brush the reason why i have taken about 10 to 12 inches of these strands because when you will brush it the uh, length of the yarn will get reduced because it cleans up and uh, removes some of the yarn let me show you how you will brush it you have to start brushing from the edges and then come up the top like this you have to brush it when you will brush the strands will get open and they will give a smooth and mixed uh, effect like this as I told you, I am doing with a pet slicker brush. You can do with a normal comb or a brush, hair brush. Keep cleaning your brush because uh, it gets stuck inside the, the wool strands get stuck with the brush. Keep it brushing till you reach this end, this, this one. See, now I have brushed it completely. Each strand is opened up and it's as smooth as silk. Very smooth, soft. So it looks like a multicolor group of yarn. So currently it's very loose and spread up. So to give it a shape as for uh, crochet items we have to block them so like that we have to block it but don't use uh, glue water solution because when you will dip it it will get stuck to each other so the better solution to this is take this take any uh, hairspray and just spray it over here I am spraying it a bit uh, away from the camera so let me spray it for you and I'll show you the result. Okay, now I have sprayed some hair spray on it and then hold, it's a bit sticky, hold it like the shape of the flame. because hairspray is a bit sticky so that is why it gets stuck to my fingers you can see different colors different shades this extra you can trim with the help of a scissors right now it's a bit uh, wet that is why uh, it's getting sticky when it will dry up completely it will take its shape so your flame beautiful flame is ready this one is a smaller one this is a bit bigger one so its colors are more diverse than this one right so it looks more beautiful than a real like flame so this one is ready yeah it's dry up now uh, I am leaving this tail here why because I am going to continue this video for the second part for making this beautiful Christmas candle also. So we are going to make this Christmas candle and uh, we will attach this uh, flame over here like this and then 
your Christmas candle, beautiful Christmas candle will be ready. You can make in white, you can make in any other color. So this flame I have made for this Christmas candle. So stay tuned for the second part for making the candle and the flame I have made for this video. Hope you like my video on making this beautiful and gorgeous DIY project of making a flame for your candle. And please like, share and subscribe my channel. And press the bell icon for getting update regarding each and every new upload I'll make my on my channel. And thank you for watching my video. Thank you once again.